Now I, I make sure the doors are locked and, and I usually check before I even open the door to see who's out there. New at six, fake utility workers con their way into a local home, taking advantage of an elderly couple's trust. We have details about that terrifying ordeal also. It's extortion. You're just fixing an error. We're hearing from a man who's fed up with problems at the state DMV. Now we've learned it doesn't look like it will be smooth sailing anytime too soon. And we are looking at the weekend. A little bit of a warm up is on the way. First, though, it was one scary night. An elderly couple's home ransacked by men they thought were utility workers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott McDonald. I'm Ann Nyberg. It happened in West Haven Thursday night. News aides Noah Gardner spoke with a couple today about their terrifying experience. I feel, uh, you know what, an invasion of privacy. And, you know, I often wonder, what is this world coming to? Things were not like years ago. Still shaken hours after thieves burglarized her West Haven home. The victim, who doesn't want to be identified by name, says the men posed as utility subcontractors and told her she was in danger of the power going out. They said they were working in the neighborhood and needed to check the meter inside. He was worried about the wires down the street and, you know, if uh, you'll be without power. The victim says the fake utility workers were convincing. They even carried clipboards and wore badges. Once she let them in, one of the crooks brought her husband into the bathroom to check the water pressure. The second thief told her they needed to test a meter in the basement. One was down the basement with me. One was in the bathroom with my husband checking out stuff in there. While the couple was distracted, a third crook burglarized the house. So while that was going on, there must have been another one who ransacked our bureau in the bedroom. The thieves got away with hundreds of dollars and jewelry. The victim says she wanted to share her story so it doesn't happen to anyone else. You learn with each each day you grow smarter. I, I learned. West Haven police continue to investigate. If you have any questions of the person at your front door claiming to be from a company, police say give them a call. Reporting West Haven, Noel Gardner, News 8.